All right, let's now tell you about what's happening in the Russia-Ukraine war. Russian forces claim to have made significant advances on the battlefield, even as Ukraine continues to target Russian substations in western Kurks. Russia claims to be making significant advances in eastern Donetsk in Ukraine. In the latest, the Russian military claims to have captured the Walchish settlement in eastern Donetsk region over the past 24 hours. It targeted personal and equipment in 127 regions, resulting in the destruction of a Ukrainian Sukhoi 25 fighter jet. Russian air defense forces say that they shot down 68 Ukrainian drones. Ukraine claims that it has attacked multiple substations in Russia's western Kursk on the same day. According to the report of General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, the substations were legitimate military targets for Ukrainian forces as they were used for rail transportation of Russia's weapons. The attack resulted in a blackout in multiple regions across Kursk Oblast, though Russia's attacks in the eastern Donetsk region remain Moscow's main offensive thrust. Ukraine is working round the clock to build defensive fortifications to stop Russia's troops advancing further. President Volodymyr Zelensky was seen inspecting lines of fortification in the northwestern Volyn region near the Belarus border. He was seen walking past dugouts accompanied by the military. Though Russia's forces have gained ground in recent months, neither Russian or Ukrainian forces have managed to swing the conflict in their favor. The last escalation comes as the U.S. announced a much-needed lifeline for the Ukrainian forces. It has pledged new military aid for Ukraine valued at around $1.7 billion. That includes air defense munitions and artillery rounds. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.